it was ridiculous uh, to be to even be here at Augusta is uh, is just insane. And then obviously being friends with Rory, and then Rory asking me at the end of last year to to go on the bag with him at the par three was was special. When the world number one tells you to come on the bag, you go. Uh, so yeah, it's just amazing to be here, and that experience was it was just overwhelming, really. How did the relationship between you and Rory develop? Yeah, we got quite a few mutual friends, um, you know, from from around the golf business, like people that I, I know within within the within the industry, and uh, we met about four years, three or four years ago, and we become good friends and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's how it, that's how it came about, really. What does golf mean? What does golf mean to you? Uh, a lot, you know. I've been playing since I was probably maybe ten or eleven. It was a little bit later than than some of those guys. I have to admit, got a natural talent for it, but I, you know. I, I can play, and I, when I hit that shot on, on 90 today, I probably didn't look like I played before. Um, but uh, yeah, I love golf, and it's definitely one of my favorite sports. All right, now, give us some insight. In fact, you put your golf swing on public display in the par three. Has Rory <coughs> ever stepped up to the mic and did some singing? No, but that was part of the deal. If uh, if he if I went on the bag with him, he would come on stage and sing with us. So, so that's going to happen. Yeah, he there, he's playing in uh, in the Deutsche in uh, Boston at the end of the summer and we're playing in uh, the Gillette Stadium in Foxborough so we're at the same week so we're gonna get him up. Is this dancing included or no, just, just singing? singing yeah he's, he said he, he's allowed to pick the song if he's allowed to pick the song then he's gonna do it that's what he said. Have you heard him sing at all? No but apparently he's terrible. <laughs> <laughs>